If you're the kind of writer that doesn't plan ahead exhaustively, you'll likely get stuck at some point during your first draft. Once the ideas you've got swirling around in your head have been exhausted and the plot details have begun to grow a little more complex, you might reach a point where you honestly have no idea how to proceed. Now, there are a bunch of methods you can use to dig your way out of a blockage. You can take a break, delve into your favorite book or TV series, flood your senses with story ideas, go for a long walk, and so on. But today I want to focus on one easy and incredibly beneficial way of getting through writer's block. And it's this, no matter what stage you're at in writing your first draft, go right back to the beginning and start editing. Simple. Now I know what you're going to say, and yes, I do moisturize. But I'm guessing you're also going to say, hey friend, I thought your whole deal was to get the first draft written as efficiently and quickly as possible. Stopping to go back and edit from the beginning just seems contrary to that idea. To which I reply, well yes, you're right. And look, if the ideas are flowing and you're able to keep pushing ahead through your first draft, I definitely recommend doing that. But there's a big difference between writing words for the sake of progressing your novel and actually writing good quality prose. Yes, I want to progress as efficiently as possible with my first draft, but I don't want to just write any old garbage that I'm going to have to go back to later on and completely rewrite. So if I reach a point in the drafting process where I come up against a blocker that I can't get around, I'd rather do something different than try to just push through and write substandard work. And look, this has happened with just about every book I've written. I've hit a point where I just couldn't go any further and had to do something different to push through. And one of the best ways for me to do this is go right to the beginning of my book and start editing from the beginning. And here's some of the reasons why this approach is so good. First, you'll be able to patch up any clunky passages and smooth out the text a little where it's required. Second, you can tie together plot threads in the earlier sections of the book with the latter because you know a little more clearly how the story is going to progress. Third, you can focus a little more on what key points to reveal to your readers and when. You can drop hints a little earlier or make your clues more subtle, tailoring your text to the reader experience. Fourth, by reading and editing from the start, you'll get a much better feel for how the story sits as a whole. You'll be able to test your pacing, check whether tension is rising adequately, and whether key moments of revelation are really landing for readers. Getting this sense of how the overall story is progressing is invaluable to you as a writer and to this project specifically. Fifth, and importantly for our blockage problem, by editing from the beginning, you'll start to see possibilities open up for your book, and hopefully you'll find a way out of your current deadlock. A vital part of the reading process is trying to jump ahead and guess what's going to happen next. As readers, we can't help but do this. And that's exactly what you'll do while you're reading and editing your own book. That process of thinking ahead and mulling over possibilities is exactly what you want to be doing to find your way out of your creative rut. As ideas come to you throughout the editing process, write them down, bounce them around, and see which concepts land and which ones don't. You never know which idea might get you out of your current deadlock and help you progress with the story. Editing your draft also has another very important benefit, particularly if, like me, you're obsessed with productivity. Now, I hate the idea of not being productive, and the notion of sitting there waiting for ideas to form while my book goes unwritten causes me an almost physical pain. <laughs> But by editing from the beginning, I feel like I'm doing something worthwhile and progressing my book in some way. But I'm also brainstorming ideas and searching for a path through my current blocker. Win-win. Look, it won't solve all of your issues and it won't work for everyone, but going back to edit your manuscript from the beginning is a fantastic way to kickstart new ideas and work your way out of writer's block. So if you're struggling to push through a blocker on your current draft, why not give it a try? What's the worst that could happen?